Hey YouTube, welcome back to episode 4 of West of Loathing. We're going to continue here with Jim West from the Wild Wild West. Hmm. I don't remember what we're supposed to be doing though. Girl with flowers. Thanks again, mister. Oh, did I give her those? Don't remember doing that. Hey, hot dogs in sale. Howdy, Doug. Oh no, wait, our voice is normal. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old Jim, howdy yourself. The sign outside. Yeah, I had to change the name. Tried to file a, turn, a trademark. Turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What, what is that? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, single letter removed and I'm in business. He gestures at the wall, and the, the menu on the wall behind him. Buy something. Elegant hot dog. Hot dog, rather. Increase your mysticality for the rest of the day. Muscle for the day. Moxie for the day. Huh. Those are cool, but I don't think I want any right now. Sorry, Doug. Alright, we should continue with our map, I suppose. Keep going places, doing things. Desert house. Coal Ridge Mine is new, and the Big Apple is new. Let's go to the Big Apple. You see a streak of fire blaze across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride to the site of the impact and find a meteor. Pick up the loose pieces. Whoa! 646 meat? All right, one second. I gotta take these headphones off. M much better. So, 646 meat. <coughs> As you reach the center of the clearing, you simultaneously struck with you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench. As you discover the latest, the largest, sorry, road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal-sized horses acting collaboratively? They, uh, they should have sent a poet. It doesn't smell any better up close. Clean it up. You, you make a little dent. Keep digging. It was smaller than before. Clean it up. I mean, I could keep cleaning, but what's the point? I get some EXP, I guess. Talk to your partner. Uh, you, you are very digging. Is, is this enjoyment for humans? Well... Am I forgetting about anything? Alright, never mind. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Woo! We clean that up. We clean that up real good. Alright, next up. Uh, I guess the uh, Coal Ridge Mine. You discovered the old mission. Keep going where we're going. We'll stop there next. I don't have foraging. I'll head in here. There's a little minecart over here. It seems to be empty. Storage lockers. There's a row of lockers here. Must have been used for storing the personal effects of the fellers we used to work this mine. First one's labeled Ellsbury, WM, it doesn't have a lock on it. The label on the second one is covered in some kind of white goo. And the third one is called is labeled Loose Ben and has a combination lock on it. Open the third one. It's a combination, you don't know the combo. Well darn. Open the second one. You open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the outside of the locker. Oh, you get it. This guy must have died after his coworkers played a prank on him, where they stuffed him in his locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me in a locker and then filled me filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yelled the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his vengeful murder for intent. Oh yeah, let's fight him. He's dripping with shaving cream. We're gonna poison him? And then Gary is going to spawn a little goblin boy. Blip. He's immune to poison. He's a skeleton. Why do you think he'd get poisoned? All right, shoot him. Just shoot him. Let's go. This guy's got a lot of HP. Gary Chop. Yeah. You 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 done been Gary Chop now? No, 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 nothing you can do about it. You, you're gonna get Gary Chop to keep this one up. Uh, I'm warning you. Cool. 
Oh, you, you really made me now, mad now, mister! Well, at least he's not suffering anymore, and his bones are really clean. You got a skeleton bone, skull chips, and a handful of loose teeth. Hooray. Open the first lock. Ellsbury's helmet and a bottle of laudanum. Loot the stuff out of here. Unrefined meat nugget. There's a tear in the wall. It's exposed to meat vein. Oh, they mine meat. Okay. Okay. What's new in here? Did it mark it for me? Uh, don't see anything anyway. Whoa, this just opens into a 30 foot shaft. You're gonna need a rope or something. Oh, I ain't got no rope. So I guess that's as far as I can go with the Coal Ridge Mine right now. Let's go to the old mission. You discovered Dynamite Dan's Discount Dynamite Dare House. Big stone building, clanging towers. It's a church. What? A religious place? What? All right, you wait here. Pew, you're not a priest, so you shouldn't mess with any of his stuff. It's an empty relic with a spot for a skull. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back, they came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down, what happened? Oh, our holy relics, the saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I, I don't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd, uh, they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? Start with take a deep breath and calm down, okay? What's your name? Uh, I'm Sister Mary. My name's Jim. How, what's this about the saints? Our missions or mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait, do they call you Memento? She looks at the ruler. She shows you the ruler she keeps tucked under her sleeve. They do not. Okay, okay, sorry, what happened? I don't know what pun they were going for there. The saints, oh, it's too terrible. They just, they, they came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but that I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if, if they aren't recovered before the cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh, how much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so it's probably not all that urgent, but still. All right, I'll get them back for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous, too. I mean, probably, but if black magic brought them back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh, dear. The Cardinal is going to want to have a very long talk about this, but go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. Pew, pew, pew. Good luck down there. All right, let's go coffin looks like it was hauled down here fairly recently. Look inside. It's empty. Curious. Precariously balanced pyramid of skulls. They're all riled up and twitching. Kick it over. Are you sure? There's a lot of them and they're really mad. Maybe angering all of them at once isn't a great idea. Alright. Maybe not. The skull has a gold tooth in it. Take it. You got a gold tooth. The skull is twitching in an unnerving fashion. Though I guess there's no way it could be twitching that wouldn't be unnerving. Weird angle. Look under it. You got a souvenir spoon. This skull is whispering. It's whispering gibberish. They're really creepy gibberish. It has been cemented together for some reason. I don't have a pickaxe. Bones are clattering. Oh, I can't get past the... Alright, we'll fight this pile of bones. Uh, so they're immune to poison. So we're just going to deploy a snake. And then Gary's gonna make a Gary. Uh, I, I did it. Really, I just want more excuses to do the, to to do my Morty impression. Uh, I can deploy another snake. Uh, yeah, I want two snakes out here. With. They ain't hitting for shit though. I'll tell you that. Gary gonna die. Wait. The skeleton should be like take extra damage from the 
the crowbar because it's impact, but we'll shoot him anyway. Even though that's piercing. Presumably. Boy, the snakes are doing dick all. Gary Chop, that boy. Yeah, that's right, Gary Chop. Get in there. Ooh. Shoot him again. There you go. You got a, skull, a skeleton bone and 16 EXP. I should be leveling up, probably. How much EXP I got? 148 of it, huh? Uh... Deploy snake. Someone's a baby snake. Someone's an adolescent snake. Let's get more... Let's get better snakes. That's 100 EXP. Deadeye is extra pistol damage. Moxie, Grit, yeah, let's get more Deadeye. Alright, that's good. So, do I want to fight more Skelemans? Let's fight more Skelemans. Floating Skull. So this should be a better snake than what we usually get. Hey, it's actually doing damage. That's neat. Gary Chop. I don't know what he just did, but we're going to finish him off with my double snakes. Oh, maybe not. Why did this thing not do nothing? Do I need to pick the square I deploy it to? It's not like they have summoning sickness. I kind of want to fight the whole pile here. Kick him. Kick him good. Got the jump on him this time. Give me a snake. Gary Chop. Oh, I gotta pick my targets. Minus 13 HP? Hi! No, please stop this. Jesus! You got your ass kicked all the way up the stairs, dang. Okay. I'm extra angry now. But if your anger gets any higher than two, you'll pass out from the rage. Okay. Uh, well. I need to deal more damage to Skelemans. I think I'll save that pile of bones for later. Assuming it's still here. It may not still be there, though. That's what kind of caused me to try to fight it. Wait, I can listen to this again? Yeah. Doesn't say anything interesting. Oh, there's a plaque on the wall out here. What's this? This way to Pasillo del Santo. Alright. It's a plaque. Oops. It's a plaque. Read it. Here lies Santa Cortada. She was drawn and quartered by heretics, and the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. This member was so effective that nobody was able to get her body to stay together even after she was just bones. Oops. Stop going in the doors. Read this plaque. Saint Beefus, after he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven. It was so heavy, it just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to inter him in a big stone sarcophagus to stop it. Gross. Let's fight him. Jeez, they really knew how to build heavy stone sarcophaguses back in the day. Open it. You grunt and strain and force the stone sarcophagus lid open. There's a skeleton inside. Holy crap, his bones are huge. Fortunately, he appears to be asleep. Wake him up. Wow. Holy shit. I don't think I'm strong enough for this area. Whiff. Uh, Gary, can you move? No. Alright. Well, you're gonna get whacked then. Oh my god, he whacked the snake instead. Thank god, I guess, huh? I don't think poison does anything. I mean, I could use some snake medicine to heal Gary. That just heals me, though. I'm pretty sure we found out last time. Try shooting him. No, he's got so much EXP. We're screwed. Oh my god. My familiars aren't doing jack. 
could surrender. Defeat. You got angry. You get so angry that you pass out. Gary must have carried you back here after you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but otherwise not any worse for wear. You're pretty hungry, though, and sober. Day two, the second day of the rest of your life. Got, got darn knocked out there. Alright, what do we want to do today? Well, that's the only area I got, and they kicked me up good. Let's wander around, see what we get. Silversmith's house, let's go there now. Science says silver bullet making apparatus, help yourself. Silver bullets. Make one bullet out of the silver nugget, sure. Oh, you can make needles out of the silver bullet. Yeah. Make three bullets out of the cufflinks. You know what? Sure. That's that's good. Pick the lock on the door. Got it. Go inside. Require safe cracking. I forgot this darn combination of this confounded thing. If you can open it, you're welcome to what's in it. Oh, it's a spittoon. A spittoon! At least it looks like a spittoon, but it's next to the bed. It might actually be a bedpan. Investigate it. Really? I mean, it's just a spittoon. If it, if it is just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a bedpan, and that would be way worse. Investigate it. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object. We're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is that maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into, in which case it's only full of rancid congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I, are, are you even listening to me? Are you just sort of skimming past the text? Bedpan. Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. Bed pan. Shut up, I'm investigating it. Alright, fine, fine. Have it your way. Your own filthy, disgusting way. Turns out, to probably not be a bed pan, but it's definitely a spittoon, and it is definitely filled with rotting brown spit. Fish around in it. What is wrong with you? Bite me. Okay, good, god, okay. You plunge your hand into up into the wrist. It makes a gloop noise, and it breaks the, the thin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in relative check. Now you are choking in a miasma of oily, bitter chaw stink. You know that feeling when you get when you're about to puke, how you, how you get the taste back in the in the rear corners of your mouth, that metallic tang by the the root of your tongue, like you're sucking a corroded old penny. Just tell me what I found already. You found a filthy slime-covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're gonna put it on without even washing it first. Plus two to all stats. You bet I'm putting it on. You bet I'm putting that on. Where is it? Where is it? Can I can I get st oh it's already on. Neat. Neat. All my stats are buffed. Um It's on the bookshelf. Requires ten Moxie to look through the books. Do I have any that can anything that can temporarily increase my Moxie? Oh, I'm at nine. Just increase that to 10. Search for secrets. Tuck behind one of the books, you find a small envelope with, with uh, filled with receipts. About half of them are from a shop called the Silver Platter. He was crooked. The silversmith was ch selling cheap fakes. Oh well, he's gone now, and so are most of his customers. No sense in stirring up trouble at this point. You write down the location of the shop, it might come in handy. He discovered a new map location, the Silver Platter. Shelf looks pretty picked over, but search it anyway. You got instant grits and plum pudding. Well, until we learn safe cracking, that's all we got. Let's check out this new area. The silver platter. find a liquor cabinet standing in the woods. Maybe there used to be a house around it. You try opening, but find it to be locked. 
That's probably why it didn't get stolen by whoever stole the walls. Pick the lock. You help yourself to the liquor. You got decent tequila, you got decent whiskey, and you got decent wine. Neat. Silver platter. Ooh, what's Gary got to say? Howdy, Gary. Oh, oh ne nearing a weird cave. What? Gary was out here once f uh, finding a cave for humming. It's very strange. Too scary. Well, that sounds interesting. Discover a map location. The humming cave. See what's up with the silver platter. Howdy, what can I do you for? Well, do you have a menu? A menu? What are you talking about? Isn't this a walk-up style restaurant? What? No, I'm a silver plater. I plate things with silver, you know? Oh, I thought your sign was... Never mind. Man grins, re revealing a full set of silver plated teeth. So, you need something plated? What are my options? He looks up and down. Well, I could plate your hat you're wearing. Probably uh, silver hats get more done, they say. This will enchant your hat to add one of your maximum action points. You know what? Let's do it. What else could you plate? I could plate that melee weapon you're using there. It'll do more damage that way. Yeah, maybe something else. Yeah, maybe something else. My actual tongue. The one in my head. Yep. What does that do? What do you get for that? Silver tongue? Let's let's do it. Well, well, anything for a weird life. Go ahead and silver plate my tongue, Doc. Got a perk, silver tongue. Plus three to Moxie. Oh my god. Well, I spent all my meat. No, I didn't spend all my meat. I must have a lot of meat saved up. I got a silver tongue. What's, uh, what's that do to my character? You'll be able to convince people it's really silver. Okay. Well, that sure is a thing, isn't it? I think, I think that'll do it for this episode. Just a little random amounts of progress, but I think it was fun. I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> No, you don't want nada, none of this Gunning this, brother running this, buffalo soldier Look, it's like I told you, any damsel that's in distress Be out of that dress when she meet Jim West Rough neck, so go check them on the vibe Watch your step with flex and get a hold of your sides Swallow your pride, don't let your lip react You don't wanna see my hand with my hip be at With Artemis from the start of this Running the game, James West, same in the West So remember the name I'm just so weirded out by what just happened I, I, I gotta take a little, little break What? He, he plated my tongue!